What's up guys, I'm just going to have a real quick video going out right now. I'm going to be showing you how to get um, your iPhone screen to be able to show up on your computer like this. Uh, it's a pretty late video, 11 o'clock. It's late for me because I have to get up early tomorrow, but um, I just thought I'd get this out here. You know, nothing better to do. So, the first thing you need to do to be able to do this is open up Cydia. And this might be a little laggy, just because it can't be perfect, but oh, you guys should be able to see fine. Okay. Here we go. So once you're in Cydia, go and search. And search for something called Bean. VNC, and you'll see it right there. Um, go ahead and install that. Uh, once you install it, it'll make you restart your springboard. Uh, there's not an icon or anything that shows up. It's just like a software thing. So don't worry if there if an icon doesn't show up. Um, once you install that, go in your settings. Go to Wi-Fi and you'll see next to your network that you're on this little blue arrow tap on that blue arrow and in there you'll see all this information look at your IP address I'm gonna block mine out because I don't want you guys to see but look at your IP address and write it down or memorize it because you will need it later so uh, once you have VNC installed and you have your IP address you're done with the iPod part so now I'm going to show you what to do on the computer I'm going to close out of chicken of the VNC um, so once you've done both of those things on your iPod you've installed VNC and you've found your IP address open up Safari and um, go to this website I'll post it in the description sourceforge.net slash project slash co tvnc um, download that it's the VNC software for your computer that you need uh, it's a very short download um, so once you download that you've done everything you get here open it up and you'll see two things on the side here under servers you'll see like your MacBook name you see for Jacobson's MacBook or your iMac name or whatever and then you'll see a new server down here um, it'll look just like hold on, it'll look just like it does now at first um, so click on new server and where it says host that's where you want to type your IP address that you got from your iPod earlier uh, so type that in let me type it in okay so my IP address is typed in once again I'm gonna block it out and just leave password blank don't even worry about display um, you can select if you want to have a full screen display allow other clients to connect or just view only uh, also just leave default profile there I just like it view only so all you have to do is enter your IP address where it says host and that is it and click connect and you'll get a message on your iPod that says remote access request and it'll ask you if you want to accept the connection and you can accept or reject it obviously you want to accept and there you go you can see your iPod touch or iPhone screen on your Mac right there um, it's a fairly easy method that is how you do it uh, so let me know if this video helped you guys also let me know if you have any questions Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe, and watch my other videos. Thank you.